The limited service restaurant industry, what we call the fast food industry, was heavily affected by the recession and by the cutbacks in consumer spending. So we're looking at the industry now to see to what degree it has or hasn't recovered from that setback. And what we found is it's sort of a mixed message, a mixed performance. There are some real bright spots in the industry, both by day part and by chains, but also some things that continue to hamper industry growth. On the positive side for the fast food industry, we see some, some gradual but real macroeconomic improvements that are forecasted to continue. We see some important menu innovation, including healthier menu options, and also experimentation with limited time offers. And we also see some big store re-imaging programs and updating programs, which are really bringing the industry forward. On the more negative side for the industry, we see some limited pricing power, particularly as grocery stores compete more and more closely with fast food. We see several demographic groups that are key to the industry having um, less discretionary spending power. These include younger adults, 18 to 24 year olds. These include Af African American households and households who earn under $50,000. One of the key aspects of the report is we look very closely at the statistics for the leading chains and how they compare to their peers. And what we're finding is that while not everyone is doing well, some of the leaders are really doing well store by store in terms of operating performance. These include McDonald's, Taco Bell's, Tim Hortons, Starbucks, and of course Chipotle. We're predicting four to five percent growth for the industry in the years ahead. And we're seeing as one of the key indicators to watch the degree of high frequency guest traffic, the amount of consumers who are visiting these fast food chains six or more times monthly. We find that that's fallen to a degree for burger chains and into an even larger degree for chicken chains. So that will be one of the big indicators of the health of the industry. For more than 50 years, Package Facts has published detailed market intelligence studies for the consumer goods and services industries, with a specific emphasis on the food and beverage, pet, and financial services sectors. Each Package Facts report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in depth interviews with executives and industry experts. Our analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future.